G'day, hey here from PickingLessons.com. Cripple Creek, this is such a great tune. In this version on the guitar, we're looking at four variations. We capo it up in the key of A here at fret two, playing out a G position at the capo. Now, we have four variations. In a moment, we're gonna take a look at the first variation here in this video. But if you head to PickingLessons.com, you better grab yourself a copy of the tablature. In the member section there also, we'll break down the remainder of the variations and you'll have some play along and backing track audio to download as well to help out. Now, we are gonna have a look at this first variation and each of the variations as we step along gets that little bit harder, uh, a little bit more variation, bringing in a few more blue notes and accidentals and all that kind of stuff too. So by the time we get to the fourth variation, that's pretty advanced, but this first variation is nice and basic. So this gives us the basic melody, not too simple, but simple enough, yeah? We've got some slides in there as well and some hammer-ons, so it's not gonna to be too simple, but it is the basic version, essentially. So let's have a look. We are capo fret two, otherwise standard tuning. Uh, we're working out of G shapes. So G, C, and D are our chord shapes we're using, and our melody kind of follows around those chords. Opening section, so each part is only four bars, and then we repeat. So it's a, it's a short melody, four bars, repeats. And that's gonna be the same for all the variations. So first four in this A section. That essentially gives us the basic melody of the tune. So let's have a look at what we're doing there. Third finger, third fret. Picking for all the way through is going to follow our rhythm. So down on the quarter note, down up on the eighth. So down, down, up, down, down. Nice and straightforward. Fingering choice, third finger, second finger. It's all in the tablature there. This is pretty cruisy, so let's move on through. Yeah, second bar. Third bar, we're going to slide. We're going to use a blue note here, so we're using them, what we call the flat three. G major has a B in it. We're gonna use a B, a B flat, and we're gonna slide up to the B there on string three, plus playing a unison open string. So a cool sound, yeah? And we can make use of that uh, open B string as well, so we get that nice sort of unison sounding note there. Finishing off the four bars. And that's, that's the conclusion of that first four bars. Let's just try that once through together. Three, four. Very good. So we're playing out of essentially first position. Occasionally we're moving along into second position. Fingering's all on the tab though, yeah? Let's check out what's in part B. Part B, we make use of this flat three into the major three slide again and by the way that slide is over two eighth notes so don't be in a rush one and two and three four same as when we played it in the a part so one and two and three four repeat that idea in measure two but with that hammer on on the string four so that's first finger same idea and closing it out. So let's have a play through those four measures of part B. Three, four. Now, that is the basic version of the melody, but you'll be able to play that at pretty much a fast tempo and once you get to know it, it is nice and straightforward, easy to play, easy to play quick. It'll get us out of trouble if we need to play it quick or just need to know the basic version. As we progress through these other variations, we add a bit more to a bit more flavor, a bit more ornamentation and variation to the melody. And we're gonna check that out at pickandlessons.com. So you can grab yourself a copy of the tablature while you're there, but pickandlessons.com, jump on over and we'll break it down together in the member section. See you there.